I felt one of these pop out on me. So I don't know which one it was, but I felt one up. No, y'all saw that far. Hey, you guys. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a perm rod set. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I'm very excited. It. I have my hair twisted. So detangling and parting will be very easy. I washed my hair and deep conditioned one Sunday. And today is Wednesday. So I'm doing the style for Christmas. So hopefully it comes out well. So yeah, I'm just going to... Put this section to the side. And this is a silk scrunchie. I'll have them linked down below. I'll start with the front so that you guys can see what I'm doing and I'll move on to the back. I feel like that would be a whole lot easier. So as always with natural hair, you start at the bottom and then work your way up to the top. And yeah, I'm going to stretch my hair and, oh my god I can't wait to see my length because just stretching it it's already longer than what it was back in October when I did my last trim so oh, I cannot wait to actually do a blowout so see what I was saying um detangling is going to be pretty easy for me because I detangled my hair, moisturized and sealed it on Sunday and then put it in the twist and they have been in the twist since. And I um, did my scalp massages as per the Hairlicious Castor Oil um, Challenge. So yeah, that, this is a great way to get um, a heatless stretch. So if you want to stretch your hair for any style, I feel like braids and twists are the easiest way. So let's say, for instance, you uh, wash your hair or whatever, like I did a few days prior to doing a style and you need your hair to be stretched. Like, look at this. You would think that I like lightly blew my hair out on like a cool or warm setting and I actually didn't. Um, so yeah, this is a great way to go ahead and stretch your hair for any style. So I did the back. I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Because, girl, I'm struggling. So I want the front, of course, to be more defined than the back. Really don't care what the back looks like. I mean, I do care, but... At this point, I'm pretty much over it. So, I don't know if I want to do three up here or just do the two. Maybe I'll just do the two. And then if it doesn't work out or turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out, then I'll know for next time. You know, this will be my do's and don'ts reference. And I'm just trying to make sure that they're semi-even because I know that they're not going to be completely even because no one's head works that way. Um, so yeah, we're going to try our best to get these even. And I'm just going to tuck this piece of hair under this um, scrunchie. Now... I have a mirror in front of me, so I'm looking at that mirror. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to do is spray my hair with water. And just go ahead and move that water on through. Tangle again, starting from the ends to the roots. Now I'm going to add the a lot of body foaming mousse. Focusing, focusing it mainly 
on my ends and then working it to the root. And I'm gonna put a little bit more on these horrible dry ends. Comb that through. I'm gonna take my tangle teaser and pull this through gently not really focused on the roots i'm just focused on this part because i want the curl to be as smooth as possible so i don't really know how to show you guys this because the way i learned is just playing around in my hair so hope you guys can see this but i'm going to take this section of hair i'm going to take my finger and put it under a piece of hair and i'm going to pull it under using my thumb to hold it. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, take my finger and go under this piece of hair. And then using my thumb, tuck that under. And then I'm gonna keep doing that. If you guys want a more in detail video of this, just leave a comment down below. And I'll be more than happy to do that. But this is pretty much how I do my flat twist. And yeah, it's not always perfect, but it always looks good when I take it out to do like a twist out it always looks pretty popping so that is why they call it a flat twist because you're just twisting towards your scalp or tight on your scalp so that um you know i don't know how to explain it it's like a braid but not really a braid so i'm gonna take one side of that twist and i'm gonna clip it away so that's one of the things that I forgot to mention. You're going to need a clip or two. I'm just going to detangle this section because this is what is going into the perm rod. I'm going to put a little bit more foaming mousse on my ends. And now I'm going to take a perm rod and I go from the top. So I'm going to take the perm rod and put it behind my hair. And then I'm going to roll my wrist around the flexi rod. I mean the perm rod. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying flexi rod. My bad, y'all. And then lock it into place. And that's pretty much it for me it my ends are not staying <laughs> on some of them so I just twist the end around on my finger and then push it back through this little rubber part and then after I do that it usually stays um I was struggling on the back of my head so now I'm going to take this section and I'm going to take the clip and I'm gonna clip it so that it doesn't really interfere with this twist. Because as you can see, it's gonna start to try and unravel itself. And I'm just going to do the same thing. And this foaming mousse smells good and it does not lie when it says that it dries fast because it is drying. So because I was struggling in the back, I hope that this foaming mousse doesn't have like too much hold because I put so much back there because it was unraveling that my hair might be crunchy as when it dries. See, it's starting to unravel at the end. So I just roll it around my finger and then push it back through this little rubber part, little rubber band thing. And it usually stays after that. And then I just take the clip out. 
and yeah that's pretty much it again i'm looking in the mirror so if i'm not looking directly at the camera my bizad and i'm gonna show you guys one more time how i do it and then i'm gonna finish show you guys what it looks like when i am finished putting them in and then when i do the takedown i'll come back to you guys and show you guys what the takedown looks like so some foaming mousse. And I usually use two pumps per section just to start with. And then however my hair feels, I'll add more. So usually up here, the two works, but then on my ends, girl, that's another story. I'll put a little more. I'll comb it through. And then my tangle teaser. Just to smooth my hair out. And then I'm going to start the flat twist. Can you guys see? Probably not. But I'm going to take my finger and go under the hair. Pull it back. Under again. Pull that back under pull it back and keep going down until you reach the spot that you want to stop my neighbors are stomping great All right, so I pretty much go down my hair twice when I get to the end. And I'm gonna clip this part up. Sorry if it's gross that I'm putting my hair clip in my mouth, but it's what I do. This is what I do. So I'm just gonna add more foamy mousse to the end of my hair. Brush it through. Oh shoot, I have no more flexi moves. I have to open this pack. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Now I'm going to put it at the top behind my hair. And I'm going to roll my wrist around with the hair and close it like that i'm gonna do the same thing to the side oh, let me put this clip here because this one is gonna start unraveling and i'm gonna be upset Ugh. Come on. Anybody got time? I want to be sitting here all day. So I'll put it behind my hair and roll my wrist around. The hair. Ooh. Let me secure it. Let's see how that looks. Ooh. I feel like it's gonna. Okay, if you have more hair like that, what I do, or what I was doing in the back, was taking it, holding that part. Well, no, I did it the other way. And I just rolled the hair again, trying to not get this rubber part in there. 
I just rolled it as best I could. Ow! Girl. And voila. So yeah. <laughs> that is what I have. I'm going to do this. Whoo! Chile. I'm all finished. And I feel like this is the very last time that I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm doing this again. I might get rid of these perm rods. Because baby. The back probably looks a hot damn mess. This ain't going to turn out the way I want it to turn out. I just know from now. But hack. I put some pins to keep some of them down. And now I'm just going to go under my hoodie dryer and I'll leave the link for this down below but I'm gonna go under my hoodie dryer and girl probably 30 minutes because I already know this is a fail I feel it I don't know I just I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it I don't know I just feel like this is not going to be what I was expecting. So I plugged in my blow dryer. So I'm going to put this on. I was struggling. So my hair is not even that wet. I'm so over this. This whole experience was, I'm over it. And look, some of the flexi rods is going to be hanging out the thing. <sighs> I'm going to try to tuck this behind my ear because I don't want this heat blowing on my ear. Look at this. Look at, look, just. This was not fun. This was, this was not fun. This was not fun. No. No. Oh, come on. I do like this hooded dryer. I can say that for certain. I like this hooded dryer. These flexi rods, though, I don't know. Let's see what happens when I turn this on. Cause I, feel, I feel like... I'm going to turn it on low. Let's see. under here for 30 minutes that is all that these perm rods are getting out of me is 30 minutes i have this on low and oh this get kind of hot in there all right so i changed blow dryers because this one is super duper hot this is what i use for my blowouts and this is like a dominican salon um blow dryer it has high and low and that shit immediately within five minutes started burning my fucking scalp so we're moving on to the kiss blow dryer and i'm gonna do high fan and i'm gonna do cool air and if i feel like it i'll switch it to warm let me see what warm feels like Okay, warm is not bad. I'll do warm on the Kiss Blow Dryer because that kind of air, chow, sent me to hell. All right, so I'm taking the hooded dryer off. I was under for uh, 45 minutes. I think my big bonnet is worth using tonight. And then I'm going to use my diffuser in the morning if they're not all completely dry Oof. so yeah this is how i'm sleeping hey you guys so it's the next day and i feel like my hair is dry so i'm gonna start doing the takedown oh i forgot i put pins in here sleeping last night wasn't so bad with these in not as bad as i thought it would be It's not crunchy feeling but um yeah 
it wasn't bad to sleep in them and hopefully it looks good because my hair just poked me an eye i don't want it to look bad it does have some hold to it but like i said it's not crunchy feeling so i'm gonna take these out so now i'm just taking some of my d flora beauty lily may oil it's the egyptian castor oil that i've been using just take a little bit of that rub it on my hands and i'm just gonna start to stretch out some of these I'm going to do this before I start to separate. This definitely has holds and it has the bounce that I like. So let's start separating. this is cute i like this so i am like really concentrating not even talking because i really <laughs> want to focus this is really cute i like this ah it came out so cute i like it Huh. Okay, so, I love the results. Love, love, love the results. I wish it was more shiny, but I do love the results. I don't even want to, you know, separate. I really don't. I want to leave it as is and like get rid of the parts, but I love the shrinkage of it because we all know that my hair. So I love the shrinkage of this look. I just, I really do. And I like that the curls are shorter in the front. I don't know how that happened, but the curls are here in the front, as you can see, like they're shorter in the front. And I don't have a diva cut, but it just always happens that way. Like this is still long, but it always ends up being short in the front. So I love this, to be honest. I don't want to separate i want to leave them chunky like this and just let it do what it does maybe a few pieces in the back maybe a few of the bigger ones i might separate but for right now this is what we're working with i just have to get rid of the parts hopefully you saw back there but i'll get rid of the parts and pretty much my hair is fluffy. It has a lot of movement, a lot of bounce. I, again, would like it to be shiny. <laughs> um, and I don't, it's soft, but I don't like the way my hair feels. Like it feels like it wants to have a crunch. Like it has a cast on it of the um, Lotta Body mousse that I used. Like it has like some sort of hold, but not too much, but it has that that feeling like that cast feeling on it i hope you guys so. really enjoy your christmas this year has been tough so enjoy your christmas if you're alone this year my heart goes out to you do something that makes you happy drink hot chocolate drink tea listen to christmas music watch corny christmas movies sing you know do something to make yourself feel better um because yeah this year has been Ugh, whatever that's a story for another day i hope you guys enjoyed this video and for all of you that have liked commented shared 
subscribe thank you so much and yeah happy holidays i will see you guys in the next one bye